Okay, everybody, uh, this lesson is on parabolas part four, so hopefully you're starting to get uh, a little familiar with this stuff, so it depends on which way it's going. If it's, uh, if it's going left and right, then uh, the y is being squared. If it's going up or down, then the x is being squared, okay? So um, uh, re remember, P is the distance that's between your... Um, uh, the focus in the vertex or the vertex in the directrix and your vertex is always in the middle and the parabola always surrounds the focus. It's always protecting it. So if you graph them, you guys, just get a general graph of them. It really sets up the equation for us. So let's find an equation of the parabola from the descriptions and then we'll sketch a graph of that. Okay, so here's the focus at uh, 5, negative 1. So this is going by 2, so here's 5, here's negative 1 right there. And the directrix is over here, x equals negative 3. It's a vertical line, so let's just graph those right there. Remember, the vertex is in the middle, so there's the vertex right there. And that is hk, okay? So remember, the parabola always surrounds the focus so it has to be going to the right. It has to be going over here to protect that focus right there. And if it's going to the right, then P is positive, and P is this distance between the vertex and the focus, or the vertex and the, and the directrix right here. P is, P is 4, because it's opening to the right, okay? So here is HK, and we know P equals 4, so let's go ahead and substitute it in. So uh, this K is going to be negative 1, and H is going to be this positive 1, and then we'll put in 4 times 4, and we'll get that and clean it up, and there's our equation right there. Now for graphing purposes, you guys, um, uh, we need to get this by itself. So this will tell us how wide it is. This 1 16th tells us how wide it is. So uh, as we go uh, up and down 1, it goes 1 16th of 1 squared. Okay, so um, uh, which is just so small, you guys. If we went up 1, 1 16th of 1 squared is real small. I'd put a dot right there. It looked like it was almost vertical with that guy right there. So instead of going up and down one, I went up and down four because um, here's to here's two, four, and then four squared is 16, and one sixteenth of that is one. So at least that'll give me a little grip on my, on my points right there. All right, so let's go up and down eight, okay? So if we go up and down eight, so Here's 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 8 squared is 64. 1 16th of that is 4, so we'd go to the right 4 and put a point right there, okay? All right, and then go ahead and graph your parabola. Don't forget your axis of symmetry is where you can fold that, guys. So it's a horizontal line, y equals negative 1, okay? All right, let's try this one. So here the focus is negative 2, 0. So here's the focus, and the directrix is y equals 4, okay? Remember, the vertex is always in the middle, okay? So the vertex is at negative 2, 2. Okay, now this parabola opens down because it protects the focus. So P is negative 2. Okay, so here's HK. So uh, since it's opening down, our X is being squared. So X minus K squared equals 4P Y minus, uh, I'm sorry, X minus H squared equals 4P Y minus K. Substituting in, here's H, here's K. So cleaning that up and there's the equation right there okay so we're gonna um, uh, get this all by itself and divide both sides by negative 8 to give us a negative 1 8 so that'll tell us it goes down 1 8 of 1 squared 1 8 of 2 squared 1 8 of 3 squared okay so I went over 2 so I can get a little bit of a bite right there so I'm going down so 2 squared is 4 and then an eighth of 4 is a half okay so if we go over 2, it goes down just a half right there. Let's go over 4. 2, 4. 4 squared is um, uh, 16. 1 eighth of that would be 2. So it's going to go down to right there and right there. Okay. All right. And then uh, did I go over some more? Yeah, I went over 8. Okay. So 8 squared is uh, 64. And then 1 eighth of that is is 8. So if we go over 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, it drops 8. So there we go. That gives us enough to go ahead and graph our parabola right there. And then our axis symmetry is right down the middle. Vertical line, x equals negative 2. All right, my coffee just went off. So <clears throat> was that beeping in the background? So find an equation of the parabola with the given information. Okay, so here we go. This is number, um, uh, number 1 here. So here we have the vertex. 
And this is just asking for the equation. It's not asking us to graph. But yeah, I'm going to just do a general graph of that right there. So, so here's the vertex at 2, negative 5, and the directrix is a y equals a horizontal line. Okay, remember the vertex is in the middle. So if the vertex is right there, that means the focus is down there. Well, that just tells me that it's opening down, okay? And when it opens down, then um, uh, P is negative, okay? So the distance from the vertex to the focus or the directrix to the vertex is negative 3.25 because this is at negative 1.75. And as long as I did my arithmetic slash subtraction correctly, I get negative 3.25. Okay, so here's HK. So HK, it's opening down, so X is being squared, so it's X minus H squared equals 4P Y minus K, and then plugging all that stuff in, and we get that. Okay, what else do we have? All right, so uh, let's see. So this one's number two, actually, you guys. Let me change that to number two real quick. Okay, so um, uh, let's see. I'm teaching this today, so i got to have it ready. Okay, so um, uh, the vertex is at 5, 7, so over 5, up 7. The focus is at negative 18, 7. I just drew a real quick rough sketch of that, you guys. So there it is right there. So that tells me it's opening to the left, which means y is being squared and p is negative, okay? So since uh, y is being squared, uh, uh, my HK, here is HK, so this 5 goes here and the 7 goes here, and then the P goes right there. It looks like P is what? Negative 23, I think. Okay, so so plugging all that stuff in, we get uh, uh, that, and then simplifying, we get that right there. Okay, all right, so now we're going to convert the equation to standard form of a parabola. Okay, so this is sort of new, sort of not, you guys. We uh, did completing the square before. And our goal here is since x is being squared, we need to get it in this form. x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. Okay, so what we need to do is complete the square with the x stuff and throw everything else on the right-hand side. So there, we're going to put the x stuff on the left and then everything else. So I did plus 4 plus 4 minus 12 minus 12. So we get... 4y minus 12 on the, on the right side. Okay, so now we're going to complete the square with this. Okay, so half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4, so we're going to go ahead and add 4 to both sides. Okay, so that gives us a nice uh, perfect squared trinomial, which always factors to this binomial squared. Okay, x times x, 2 times 2. That's what gives us that. This sign always goes in the middle. Okay, so almost there. This is 4y minus 8. We need to be 4p and then parentheses y minus 8. So we want this to be a 1y. So we're going to pull a 4 out of the 4y and a 4 out of the 8. 4 goes into 8 two times, okay? All right, so now we can see the vertex is at 2, 2. Okay, so here is HK right there. Okay, and since X is being squared, this one is going uh, up or down, and since that's positive, it's going up. Okay, so here's 4P. This 4 stands for this 4P, so 4P equals 4, so P equals 1. Okay, so if we go up one, the vertex, I'm sorry, the, the focus is going to be right there and go down one, and our directrix is going to be down there. Okay, so so there we go, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it in um, uh, graphing form right there. So as we go over one, it goes up one fourth of one squared. I think I'm going to go over two. Well, I guess I went over one. Okay, so over one, one fourth of one squared is just a fourth. So see, these are kind of hard to grasp. So let's go over two. Two squared is four, and a fourth of that is one. So that's going to take us right there. All right, let's go over 4, okay? 4 squared is 16, one-fourth of that is 4. So if we go over 2 squares, because they count by 2s, and then go up 2 squares, okay, that's enough to give us a nice happy parabola right there. So it's going up, and the axis of symmetry is right down the middle. Let's try one more of these completing the squares. Okay, so y is being squared, so we need to get it in the form of y minus k squared equals 4px minus h. Okay, so what we did was is we put all the y stuff on the right-hand side, so the y squared and the 8y, and then we subtracted 2x and subtracted 18 from both sides, and we get to this. Okay, half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16, so we'll add 16 to both sides, okay? 
All right, and then so this factors to uh, y plus 4 on this side squared, and then over here we get negative 2x uh, minus 2. Okay, so we want it to be 1x minus something or plus a negative something. So what we're going to do is pull out a negative 2. We'll pull a negative 2 out of that. That's going to change that to an x and pull a negative 2 out of that. That'll change that to a plus 1 right there. Okay, so now our hk is negative 1, negative 4. There's our hk right there. Okay, so go ahead and graph that. And then uh, the 4p, you guys, so this is 4p. So 4p stands for negative 2, so that means p is negative 1 half. And since y is being squared, it's opening to the left. So if we go a half to the left, our focus will be right there. So what's that, negative 1 and a half? Uh, comma negative 4, okay, and then the directrix is a half to the right, so that should be a negative a half, let me insert that real quick, this should be a negative 1 half right there, okay, alright, so uh, because um, it's at negative uh, 1, so if we go a half to the right, then it's going to be a, a negative x equals negative a half, okay, so uh, I just copied that so I can paste it there. Okay, so the vertex, you guys, uh, is, is still negative 1, negative 4, and then uh, we divided both sides by negative 2, so it will tell us it'll go to the left 1 half of 1 squared, 1 half of 2 squared as we go up 1, and then go uh, 1 half of 1 squared, go up 2, it's going to go 1 half of 2 squared, okay, so, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that, so up 1, a half of 1 squared is a half, so I went uh, up one and it went to the left a half, okay, which is just above that focus point right up there. And let's go up two. So up two, two squared is four, half of that is two. So we went up two, it went to the left two, okay, and then uh, up four and it went to the left eight, okay. There's our parabola, there's our axis of symmetry. Thank you, son. And, and I think we're done right there. Yep, we are. Okay, so if you are in our class, that's going to be your homework assignment right there. Take care.